Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm Lead Technical Advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. Matt DiNapoli. I'm a Manager of Developer Advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to Episode 93 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, and some cool projects that we work on. And today, it's just Kareem and I with Kareem talking about Cisco U and the new stuff they got going on there. Yeah, so, you know, for our snackers, they've, you know, they followed us through this and you've seen um, Cisco U come up a couple of times on our episodes. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I believe Par just announced and talked about Cisco U with us and Cisco Live Amsterdam. And what I wanted to do today is I wanted to give our snackers um, deeper dive into Cisco U. And one of the... Um, the initiatives and parts and content types that I am kind of in charge of um, from a Cisco U perspective is tutorials. I'm just going to assume folks by now know what Cisco U is, right? And if you don't, <laughs> check out our playlist. There are a bunch of Cisco U episodes and it'll, we'll let you, <laughs> you'll get kind of a, an idea of what it is. But as we were thinking about how we how we've changed the way we learn today and how everybody is just, especially after the pandemic and during the pandemic, everybody's doing everything on um, while they're working, while they have a day job via e-learning. I wanted to present a way for our learners to be able to come to the platform, look for something they're stuck in at work, as well as, which what we call moment of need training, as well as just come in, spend, maybe you have a goal to, to spend like 45 minutes a day or 45 minutes a week to just learn something new without having to commit to like a 42 hour course or, you know, two hours of, of content, right? Just kind of bite-sized learning. And this is where we came up with the idea of tutorials. <clears throat> and so- Oh, fun. Yeah. So- Tutorials are essentially um, these bite-sized learning that cover things from, you know, how to get started with a certification, a certification topic. Um, maybe you are working in a in a data center and you're learn trying to deploy Terraform and you don't. I'm sorry, deploy Kubernetes with Terraform and you don't know how to do that. You know, you can come in here and look at that. Uh, or maybe you just want to learn something new, like, hey, how do I do a, a T to save your output when you SSH, for instance. Something <laughs> something easy, consumable. This is hilarious because the one that you're showing right now says, what is root guard and how to enable it? And I actually ran into this issue in my home network a few months ago. I don't know who did it, but someone had actually taken a cable and in my switch and routed it right back to itself. And it was causing my network to crash every half hour. <laughs> And I could yep. not figure out what was going on. And had I had root guard enabled, I would have been totally fine, even though that cabling was was incorrect. Yeah, and then that's the, I mean, you're like right there, touche. And like, this is, you know, <laughs> if you, you know, if you're stuck, you would go online to search, essentially. And eventually these searches that you're looking on Google or whatever is going to populate our tutorials. So you would get, this is created by Hank. Uh, Preston and he uh, it's Ooh. part of our CCNA blueprint and so this is something that you need to know for your CCNA certification however just like you got stuck on how to do it maybe you, you're you're not running XE at home maybe you're running Meraki so maybe we need to run you need to write how you did it in Meraki and sub subscribe sub submit that to uh, our tutorials <laughs> um, so what's great about so this is another aspect of these tutorials we want to be able to open this up to our community, right? And so um, right now we're onboarding a, uh, a select few to be able to get in here and write these tutorials to basically tell the community that, hey, I am, I don't know, Matt, you're a Meraki guru, right? You've covered Meraki for years. So, mm -hmm. and you're part of the Meraki community and you're very active and you know what the community is looking for. You can easily come into Cisco U, contribute to these tutorials and have it be part of our Cisco U learning. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's a, that's a new paradigm for, for learning is to have the community submit into a, a formalized piece of content. That's really cool. 
So we're crowdsourcing that as well. So you have you have the content that our technical advocates build, our SMEs build. You have content that our internal SMEs within Cisco, and you know, including things like, uh, including folks like in the Enterprise BU. You know, we all know Jeremy Coho, right? Jeremy is very mm-hmm. involved into this and in building content around XC and Yang Sui, right? Um, we have folks outside of our community in AWS and in, um, you know, very active influencers and in the in the networking world that are looking to contribute to all this. So we want to be bringing all that content. We want to bring in all that learning in one place for you to be able to search it, consume it, and come in and learn. And you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. You get in here and you, we'll tell you exactly what you're learning and what you'll need in order for you to learn, whether um, you have a local setup where you can leverage this. And if you don't, we we make sure that all of our tutorials are attached to some type of sandbox. In this case, Hank is leveraging the DevNet CML sandbox for this um, example. And then we're gonna walk you through step-by-step on what you need to do in order to accomplish this, right? We're not gonna leave you hanging. That's cool. So we're telling you, here's what you do. This is the sandbox. Step one, do this. Next, we're going to explore how to do this. Here's how you access it. Here's the command that you need to do. And we have a little bit of explanation. So what we've done is we've gotten into the the, the technical content right away. There was no introduction. There is a little bit of assumption there that, that you know what a switch is. You know how to get into a switch. Mm-hmm. You know some show commands, right? And so we're not here to like give you the entire course. If you want an entire course, we have an entire course that covers CCNA, and we'll point you to yeah. it at the end. So what you're saying is these tutorials are like little snacks of content. <laughs> ah, yes. Maybe we should have called you them see, snacks. There? Did you get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I got it. Got it. You've gone full circle there. Um, and so... This is kind of like the idea of tutorials. And, you know, Hank goes into, and this is a, one of my favorite, actually, um, one of my favorite tutorials that I've went through. But at the end, if you look here, all of our tutorials will have a call to action for you. So you're interested in this. Clearly you are because you've done something with it. Whether you're coming here to learn something new and you want the extensive course or you want here to finish with a certification, we'll point you to what you need. Um, or you could be just coming in here to learn something new. We'll get you to the next post where you can continue your education. And so there's a lot of work that's being done around this, um, these tutorials. Uh, I, I encourage all of our snackers to the, who has access and who don't have access to go out there, uh, look at them, do them, provide us feedback and ask us. We're also looking like we're hanging out. The, our advocates are hanging out in the forums looking for the most asked questions um, that we see in on the Cisco Learning Network, and we're trying to answer those questions via tutorials. So we're here for the community as well as if you are an expert and you're interested in building, let us know, and we'll we'll make sure to onboard you onto this. Um, this is really awesome, Cream uh, Snackers. On March 28th, go ahead and check out uh, at Cisco U and and check out the tutorial tutorials first. It looks like it's the best way to kind of. Um, kick the tires on the platform and, and get a good feeling for, for what content's out there. Kareem, thanks for sharing this with us. This is great. Yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback, Matt. Thanks, Snackers. Thanks for your time. <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs>